Um, okay, hey everyone. We are here for a ballet class. I've got the beautiful Abby here to assist. Um, she will demonstrate everything for you guys. We are going to be kind of piggybacking off of our first class that you had with me, which was related to turns. So this class will again be on turns and just kind of give you a good review of everything that we've talked about. Um, so without further ado, we'll go ahead and get started. I know you didn't really have a warm up, so we're gonna go ahead and start with a two minute plank, okay? Within these two minutes, <laughs> you can um, switch from, I didn't warn Abby about it. <laughs> You can switch from forearm, full plank, side plank. It's dancer's choice, but my only requirement is that you stay in the plank position for the whole two minutes. And Miss Katie is hosting, so she'll be able to watch all of you and make sure you all stay up. All right, Saturday morning, so let's start strong. Here we go. Let's start the music, and you can go right Five, six, seven, and fifth. 
your port de bras with your legs, okay? We've talked about that coordination of pirouettes with your arm and passe. So you're just kind of thinking about all that, bringing it all together. So right side, here we go. Resisting your weight as you take the drop plie. Don't drop your back. 
Um, remember last Tuesday we talked about separating the back from the vertebra, yeah? So your back stays strong and long, and even though your arm is moving down, just like Abby's doing, your back doesn't follow it, okay? So you really have your tall back stabilized and engaged, and then the vertebra moves separately from the back, okay? Really nice. We're going to move on to tendus. From first position, we're engaging our turnout. So you're going to tendu front. One, flex, two, turn in three, turn out four, tendu five, we in fourth six, tendu seven, close eight. Repeat side, one, two, turn in three, rotate four, five, we a six, transfer, close, first we go back, one, flex, two, turn in, turn out, point, plie, tendu close, first, side, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. You're going to go ahead and go directly to the left and repeat the whole thing, okay? This combination is focused on finding your rotation um, and lengthening your legs out long. You don't have to worry about changing your quarter bra. Your arm stays second the whole time. You can use it when you do your plie in fourth or second, okay? And so when you use it, you just bring it to first and then right back out to second. Again, coordinated with your legs. So let's try. in second, so tendu side, flex, turn in, turn out, point, plie, tendu close first. Ready and go. Tendu one, flex, two, turn in, turn out, articulate, plie, transfer, and close. Good. Okay, can you go back to your second position, plie, for me? So second position, plie, good. Okay, now. I want you to bring the awareness to your pelvis. So in the combination, you release your pelvis just a little bit, okay, in your plie. So I want you to think about keeping that supported and aligned by lifting up in your low belly so your low abs are holding the pelvis in place. Yes. And then quick transfer, show your shoulders over your left foot. There we go. Nice work. Okay, we're going to move on and do some quicker tendus from fifth position. Um, so it's going to be Start with your right leg front. The action is going to be in this time. So prepare five, six, seven, eight. Action in. Two, three, two, hey. Side, two, three, two, hey. To the back, one, two, three, two, hey. Two, hey, change, two, hey, change. High, passe, close, fit. We're going to repeat adding the quarter bar. 
Okay, so remember, you have five negatives. On the fifth one, your closing is landing in plie, okay? And that takes you up to your retire, and then you're thinking about how the leg descends back down to fifth, and then you re-engage your turnout as you squeeze. Okay, you will be using the port de bras for this entire combination. Remember also to use your April mall. Don't forget about that. It's just as important. Okay, moving on. Standing foot because you were all working together. Okay, it's like 
having to deal with a wet noodle, it's harder to control, right? So you want to be really strong in place and have that good energy you just showed. So awesome job. Okay, now we're going to move on to a quick fondue rod and bone combination. So right leg.
Reese, whenever you, I know it's hard, you have an extra challenge with the rolly chair. Um, can you just face the rolly chair with two hands on the back of it and then plie and fifth? And I want you to take the relevé passe balance so your back leg is going to go up to fifth. Now, when you plie, the chair's a little low, but try not to let your shoulders tilt forward, okay? So you're going to try to keep your back alignment. Plie and lift up. <laughs> I know, it's, it's extra hard. There we go. And you want to feel the lift in that working knee, okay? I know um, you've had some other teachers that have preferred your ankle to be crossed, but I like the toe to be directly behind your knee because you're able to feel the lift in your passe a little bit easier. Whenever you have the whole foot behind your knee, it's harder to lift the energy in that working knee up, okay? So everyone just take note of that. Perfect, thank you, Reese. All right, moving on, we're gonna do a little um, fouette exercise. I know you can't do fouettes at home, so I really wanted to take this time to work on um, strength building so that we can at least do the motion of it, and then once we get back to the studio, which will hopefully be sooner rather than later, you'll have that coordination in your muscle memory so we can just work on um, actually doing the step. So from fifth position, you're going to plie, <laughs> or prepare five, six, plie, seven, and you're going to take a relative posse on eight. You're going to plie front, one, take it side, two, deep, and three, hold, four, again, five, six, and seven, hold, eight, again, one, two, deep, back, front, and close. Just so you can feel it. 
Yeah, but then lift in your low belly. Uh-huh. Good. Now, the weight of your leg is really hard to control when you take your leg out to second. So, in order to do that efficiently, you have to think your weight is going in the opposite direction of your leg, okay? So watch Abby. She's in passe, she creates front. And then at the same time, she opens her leg out to side, her right shoulder is going to go the opposite way over her supporting leg, okay? Now we look at the coordination with her arm and her leg. So everything is center. She holds it. It goes out, back in. So it mirrors the leg. It goes forward. Try again one time, Abby. Forward. Out, back in, and hold. Okay, now when you do the pas de bray, again, it's that lift to fifth. Stay up, high on that supporting leg, and then quick feet so you're prepared for the other side. Okay, um, I want to do it one more time right, left, right, left. Um, hopefully, you felt something that you can correct this go around. Um, and especially for my littles, I want you to think of clean positions, okay? We haven't really worked much with poites on you guys other than just the pathway of the leg. So this is a really good opportunity for you guys to think of that, okay? Um, all right, so we're going to repeat it right, left, right, left. Now I'm going to watch all of you. Annika, I can't see you. Is there any way to bring the camera to you? So I can see. Lexi, she had a little bit of an asthma attack, so she's taking notes. Oh, perfect. So you know. That's why he, we just asked her to turn <laughs> okay. it on so we could see that she was doing notes. Um, but so she, she's watching. She's taking notes. Okay. Awesome, Annika. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a good idea. Okay. Here we go. Um, quickly. So I would say that that's a huge one. Um, 
for turns, but also just throughout your entire technique, okay? So keeping your back tall and separated from your movement. Um, okay, so with that being said, we're going to do our normal relevate elevate section. So it's two counts up, two counts down, and parallel four times. Then you're going to coupe your right foot, do the same thing, four elevates. On the right, go back to parallel, four elevates on the left foot, or with the left foot coupe. You're gonna turn out and do the same thing in a turned out position, okay? So it's gonna be two counts up, two counts down, two counts up, two counts down, two counts up, two counts down, two counts up, two counts down. Right, coupe, down, up, down. Okay, we do this pretty much for all my classes, so you should all know. And if you don't know, just keep elevating. <laughs> That's the goal. So you're trying to build that ankle strength. Six, seven, eight. You're up for two and lower. For two. Up and lower. Up, lower. Back is tall. Right foot to coupe. Nice Ella do. Good, stay parallel. So your knee is front. There we go, Ella, good. Up, down, up, and down. Parallel, both feet up. Good, Delaney. Think of long legs. You're lengthening your hip flexors. Nice grace. <laughs> Left foot coupe, up. Resist the descent. Down. And lift up. And turn out. Up. Down. Up. Find the rotation. Now hold it as you lower. Up. Good. I think that's Paulina. Good. Hannah, help. Keep squeezing those rotators. Good. Right leg up to coupe. Good, Alexa. Shake your foot. Good, Isabella. Good, Avery Boo. Go. Good. Lengthen your back, Jasmine. All right, last set. You can do it. Finish strong. Lift up, left leg back. Good, Rachel. Introduce shooting out with the crown of your head. Good, feel the turnout in that left knee. Your knee's pulling back. Good, Taylor. Good. Um, is that Kennedy? Yes, okay, good. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out who you are based on your feet. <laughs> good. Um, Kennedy, can you show me the coupe position? And I want you to really shake the foot, okay? Yes. Now push that knee back. Now, as you elevate, I want you to think of pulling your standing heel towards me. Go. Lift. Yes. Now hold it as you go down. Go down. Resist. Yes. Okay. So you want to do each elevate like that. I know with these kind of exercises, think you can, it can be very repetitive. So the challenge is holding yourself accountable to each elevate and making each one is good or if not better than the last one you did, okay? Um, but really nice work. Let's go ahead and transition to the center. So put your bar away. Is that all <laughs> All right, so again, we're working on the theme of turns. Um, what's awesome is you guys did this with Katie and Jazz yesterday, correct? Um, so you're able to kind of put all these ideas together and it can really help you form and shape um, your ideas and just figure out your own personal, um, I guess, corrections that help you because we're all different and we all take to different things. Um, so you're getting two teachers' perspectives on how you can think about turns and especially with the different styles, jazz and ballet, um, they're all connected, but yet they have different aspects that you can think about. So, we're going to start with a basic fondue, tondue, just to fill your center. You're going to start in quad. Um, so, we're going to mirror you. 
Bye. 
all of you. Be really um, descriptive with your feet, okay? All right, let's give it a go.